challenges of a traumatic brain injury are great. These challenges are met with the help of family, friends, and professionals. But for some traumatic brain injury survivors, professional help can be hard to find and the services they need can be very expensive. Fortunately, help is available to those who qualify through the Utah Traumatic Brain Injury Fund, or TBI Fund. The TBI Fund was created in 2008 by the Utah State Legislature to help individuals with the TBI and their families receive resource facilitation services and neuropsychological testing. The TBI Fund can also be used to educate the public on what traumatic brain injuries are. These vital services link those in need to resources in their communities so they can return to school, work, and daily life. The TBI Fund is designed to help those in need as a last resort, meaning individuals have no other financial means available to pay for these services. Trained resource facilitators with organizations like the Brain Injury Alliance of Utah or the Phoenix Services can help you see if you qualify for services offered by the TBI Fund. Thanks to the TBI Fund, traumatic brain injury survivors and their families are not alone. The TBI Fund is a restricted fund that was established by the legislature to aid people with traumatic brain injury. Our sponsor was Representative Gowns of the Tooele area and he had a family member who had been injured in an accident and sustained a traumatic brain injury and he was very anxious to see that something be done to provide people with traumatic brain injury some assistance. The purpose of the fund is to help people who are um, perhaps just newly diagnosed and you know coming out of some sort of rehabilitation to just to determine what else can be done to help them before they lose their jobs or they return to school or it, it's a way of getting an assessment to find out whether what other resources are in the community to help them. qualify for the TBI fund as an individual who has a traumatic brain injury and that could be from a car accident, slip and fall or sports concussion. This would give an individual the opportunity to apply and access for these funding. Unfortunately at this time it's, it's not for those who has a stroke or anything like that. It is strictly traumatic brain injuries. Uh, but right now the the holder of the funds is the Utah Department of Health, the Violence and Injury Pre Prevention Program. Uh, it can actually be accessed through uh, the Brain Injury Alliance of Utah, which we can do resource facilitation and find out if this individual may qualify for those fundings, and then it'll be processed through the Utah Department of Health. This has made a, a great difference. A lot of times when an individual has a brain injury, and once they get out of maybe the hospital or rehab center, they're, they're just sometimes there's no funding for them. What this would help them to do is get resource facilitation where we could actually identify if this person does qualify, help them to find resources, and also there is an opportunity if they have not had a neuropsych neuropsychological evaluation, then they, if they qualify for that, they could get that. This wouldn't be no, no cost to them. So it, it opens those doors, gives them direction. It does. <laughs>